Hello guys, it's the Dog here with another episode of Pokemon Y. In the previous episode, we got ourselves over to Ambert Town and uh, through Route 8, and now we're in Ambert Town. Went to the coast, explored the town, so if you want to check that out, go look at the last video. In this episode, however, we are going to be going to the Fossil Lab as Shauna told us to. And uh, there's this other house here which I actually haven't explored, so I think I'm going to take a short look into it. Um, however, I don't really think there's anything of interest here, so if you do think there is something interesting here that you think I should go check out, then do tell me in the comments down below. But as of now, I am not going to be checking that out. Instead, we're going to go straight into the fossil lab and uh, see what we can do here. Um, and right off the bat, walking here, we're going to be confronted with another cutscene, I guess. I'm not really sure what to call these. They're not exactly cutscenes, but... They're kind of cutscenes, so we're going to be talking to this doctor, I guess. Um, not really a doctor, more of an archaeologist, but he probably has a PhD in something, so... Ah, yes, my name's Serena, not Shauna. Okay, okay, I've got to keep that in mind next time. This is Serena, the other one is Shauna, got it. The pink one is Shauna, this is Serena, keep that in mind. Okay, good to go. We're researching Mega Evolution, and we were wondering if you knew anything about it. Oh, so you're P Professor Sigmore's students. I've heard about you. Mega Evolution, you say. I'm sorry, but all I know is that it has something to do with mysterious stones. So, since you're students of the professor, you should know. You must know something about pro Pokemon fossils, correct? Yes, I do actually know about pro Pokemon fossils. You don't have to tell me again, but never mind. You are going to tell me about something to do with the dig site, the assistant in Glittering Cave. Nice, so it looks like we're going to be exploring Glittering Cave. Yes, I am. Um, hmm. I was training Toskinator a little in between the episodes, which is why he's up first in the party. He is now at level 18. Ex Excalibur is at level 19, but I think I'm going to send out Green right now and uh, get him up to... Uh, I guess a par level. He's at 24 right now, which isn't bad to be honest. Um, but I hope to get him to like. Mm, I don't know. I mean, uh, all I want is you know to have an even team, and I feel like the team right now is pretty good. So we should be allowed to. Uh, I mean, we should be able to do pretty well in this game. Uh, just gonna talk to her real quick. Pokemon moves. Direct physical contact. Ooh, cool. That's a good attack. That's a not a good attack. More of a good move. Mm -hmm. Um, right off the bat, gonna go to my items and give that to uh, a Pokemon. Yeah, give it to. Hmm, who's that? Who's that? I think Tuscanator would use it best because he is a pure attacking Pokemon. Boost the power of poison type moves. As of now, the only Pokemon that has poison type moves is uh, him. Or rather, her, but. I don't think she really is going to be needing the poison bar, but I'll probably use it in some intense battles. But right now, money is of the essence, because I am a cheap person. Hmm. <clears throat> yep, we can actually use this right on. See, you can't r ride over this right now. But however, but however, of course. However, if we get on our right horn, then that actually means that we can go over these rocks, I guess. This is taking quite some time. Not gonna lie. Hmm, probably might skip a bit of this, probably won't. Most likely won't, but... You know, we got a lot of Pokemon to battle, check out, so uh, I guess... I guess going in these areas isn't really a horrible thing to do. Ah, <sighs> right off the bat, using a Razor Leaf, probably gonna take it out. That was a pretty easy attack. I think this might be a good place for training. But not too sure. Uh, I also caught an Absol off-screen, which is kind of a cool Pokemon. I'm not really sure how rare it is, but... Yeah, I guess it's kind of cool. And now we shall destroy this rock. Can we destroy this rock? There we go. Destroying the rock. No, we have to destroy both the rocks, I guess. Um, <clears throat> because apparently that's a thing. And uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of those fourth and fifth gen desert Pokemon found here, like uh, Hippopotas and uh, Sandile. I think we might find a Scrafty as well. And once again, as uh commenter blaze lombax mentioned in the last episode uh he's i know for a fact that he's probably watching this if you are watching this and then thanks for watching i guess i mean you're one of the few people who actually watch my episodes um yes there is sand sand in the bottom screen which is a pretty cool 
feature. So yeah, kind of a huge digression over there, but gonna just continue with the video and uh, probably probably cut out some of the boring parts, you know, that I don't really need. But see, this is the issue with me. I know that I should cut out some of the boring parts, but I just never find anything that's worth, I guess, cutting out. Uh, can I get off? Can I? Yep. Gonna get off there for a second. Go up the stairs and get this item. Yeah, I, I'm never too sure what I should cut out of my videos. Like, they end up being 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes to 25 minutes long. I don't know. I just can't figure out what I should cut out. And, uh... I know for a fact that some of these parts are boring, but I'm afraid that, you know, if I don't cut them out, I might lose some continuity. Okay, that's kind of, that's kind of funny. You know, just, uh, <clears throat> having a right on walk diagonally. Can you destroy this? Thank you, thank you. And I'm gonna get this item as well. What is this? Not really too many useful items over here uh, right now, and, uh, yes, if you could... You're probably gonna hear an aircraft in the background right now, but I am too lazy to cut that out, and actually I don't really know how to cut them out, so... Um, <clears throat> I think I should use the D-pad for this part, that would be more uh, efficient than using the... Um, I guess, what what's he call that, the circle pad? Yeah, I think it's called the circle pad. Another Hippopotamus, Hippopotamus, I don't really know how to pronounce these Pokemon's names. Yup, I get it, Sandstream, pretty, pretty, uh, cool ability, but... I'm gonna have to go away and run away from you. It's kind of taking some time out of the video, which is not really something that <coughs> I want to do. There we go. I think I might attack, I mean, not attack that p person, <laughs> battle that person in a trainer battle. Another Sandal. I really want to see a Scrafty. I'm not too sure whether you can see Scrafties here. They might be just rare Pokemon. And also, I noticed something in the other video. I, I, I ran past two Bagons. Yep, that's right, two Bagons. I looked on Bulbapedia after the episode got over, and apparently Bagons are the most rare Pokemon in that um, that route. So that's kind of sad, because, I mean, I don't know, I just ran away from them. I was, in fact, I was, while running away from them, I was just saying, you know, Bagons are kind of overrated Pokemon, not really too interested in them, probably going to run away from them. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I was saying. Prepare for a sky battle with the sky trainer. Ooh, sky battles. This is gonna be interesting. Um, I actually don't have any um sky Pokemon, I guess. But uh I do have one guy actually. I do have uh who's that guy? Yep. Guy is my only sky battle Pokemon available, so uh yeah. This is gonna be uh, actually not too tough and too tough of a battle because he has a Ledian. I have a guy who is hopefully not going to be affected too badly by this confusion, but uh, he has Ember, he has Peck, so those are two good moves. Nope, got affected. Oh, oh, there we go. He actually did not get affected, and we got a critical as well, so that's brilliant. First fly battle, I mean, first sky battle, and we won, so that's great. I love winning battles like this. Unfortunately, I don't think the amulet coin doubled our, um, you know, bonuses this time but uh, that's okay we got a dusk ball dusk ball is also another useful item which allows us to catch pokemon in the night um or in caves much better so i guess that's something that you might want to know if you're uh yep there we go it's like driving a car even though i've never driven a car before um something that i want to do is driving a car because cars they are pretty cool. And are you going to attack me? No. No, no, no. I, I want to get off. And by attack me, I mean, are you going to battle me? No? Hi, trainer. Allow me to restore your Pokemon to full health. That's actually a good thing. I thought thought you were going to um not restore my Pokemon to full health. But uh, apparently you are. And also, another good thing that I did yesterday was buy escape ropes. So if we ever need to use that... Then I guess we can. Glittering Cave. Um, I think I'm going to take my Rhydorn in there. If I can go up these stairs. Nope. You can't go up the stairs with the Rhydorn. Rhydorn? Rhyhorn? I'm not too sure what the difference between the two Pokemon are. But I don't think that matters too much. Ooh. These are some pretty good gl graphics. No. Graphics, to be honest. 
Okay, this is actually quite scary. I think I'm gonna save my Pokemon, um, save the game right now, uh, outside over here. Once again, though, that's not really something I want to do, because if I ever feel the need to, um, restart this recording, then, yeah, that's not really the best thing. So I think I'm gonna pause the game, come back in a few seconds, and I will see you. And I am back. What I did was basically stop the episode so that just in case anything messed up with this recording, I wouldn't have to, you know, worry about saving the game and, you know, having to revert back to any previous progress. So just complicated, complicated behind the scenes stuff here. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm going to continue. A lot of dead ends, as you're going to notice. I don't think there are any hidden items, so I'm not really going to worry looking for them too much. Ooh, there are actually Pokemon battles in this place. I did not know that. And that is a pretty strong Pokemon, a Rhyhorn. Um, but, you know, not too hard to defeat with a Razor Leaf, so... Once again, I guess this is a good place to train your Grass-type Pokemon or Water-type Pokemon if you have any. Um, Dragon-type Pokemon, like my Axew, not really too sure whether there are any good training sites for them. Um, wait, let me just look at that green thing. It looked interesting. Mm, nope. Nothing really too interesting there. Uh, there's another green thing here. I think I'm just gonna follow the green path. <laughs> it's kind of a newbie approach to this kind of stuff, but... It's the way to go. It's the way of the future. Another Rhyhorn. I think Rhyhorns are the only Pokemon that you can encounter here, and they're actually the, uh the Pokemon that you find when you run into those dark areas because most of the cave is lit but there are certain areas which seem a little darker kind of shaded um, compared to the rest of the areas so I think that is where you encounter wild Pokemon like uh, yeah exactly exactly um like this a little shaded but you encounter Pokemon and I'm already lost, so, uh, yeah, that's not really a great thing, not really a great thing indeed. Um, but we have Lunatone here. Lunatone's another cool Pokemon that I guess you can catch here. Don't know how rare they are, and I kind of feel pretty good about my team right now, so I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. Um, not really gonna change anything. Leveling up green there, I don't think he's gonna learn any, and guy, I don't think he's gonna learn any new moves, however, so, that's kinda sad, um, hopefully he learns something interesting later, I don't really want to attack any Pokemon, but here we go, we found Shadow Claw, Shadow Claw, that's a good move, so, oops, Shadow Claw's a good move, so I'm not really too sad about, uh, getting into a dead end, in fact, I'm actually pretty happy about reaching a dead end. Did I go this way before? I'm not really too sure. It's kind of harder to see it while I'm looking on the big screen, you know, the thing that you're seeing. It's a little harder than actually, um, seeing it like this. And I think I'm going to go this way. That seems like the best approach. And I think I'm right because <coughs> more wild Pokemon means, uh, ooh, Mawile. Mawile is another Pokemon that has a mega evolution, so I might catch this one. Um... Uh, yeah. Don't really know what move I'm gonna use. Probably Leech Seed followed by Poison Powder. Just gonna let her health, uh, dwindle. Dwindle? Is that a word? I'm not really 100% sure, but, you know, go down a little by little is what I meant. And at the same time, also gain a bit of health, so that's good. Poison Powder as well should do a bit of damage if she doesn't avoid the attack like she just did. You know, to be honest, I think I'll just use a Razor Leaf. I'm not really too keen on catching this Pokemon. Maybe gonna use a Great Ball. Yeah, I'll just uh, go over to the bag, use a Great Ball, and actually Dusk Ball wouldn't be bad. So, gonna try our luck with a Dusk Ball. Hopefully, we get it in. Mm, please go to the right, to the right, to the left again, and uh, catch it, catch it. Yeah, boom. Thank you, thank you. A lot of a lot of catches that we usually make, or at least that I usually make, um, are things that I don't want to catch. So let's say I'm just like, hmm, I think I might catch this Mawbow. Catch the Mawbow. And uh, yeah, I'm going to rename it to 
Mmm, Superwoman, I don't know, Mega, Mega Man, Mega Woman, Mega Girl, I, I don't know. Mmm, Mobile. You know what, I'm gonna probably just keep, keep the nickname the way it is. Just keep it as Mobile. Um, not really too many, uh, not really having my inspiration, nickname inspiration right now, so, that's kinda sad, but... I'll probably nickname her later if I even use her, so don't want to take up too much time of this episode. And did I just come back to the entrance? I think I just made it back to the entrance. Ah, <sighs> yup, I did. So I think I, I'm not really 100% sure. Um, I guess I'll have an annotation here for uh, the full solution. Or actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. Yeah, I think that'll be it for this episode of Pokemon Y. In the next episode, we'll actually go in and explore the Glittering Cave and find out how to actually solve it. But I think this is enough for this episode because it's already starting to be a bit long. So this might be a two-part episode. I'm not too sure. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. This is the Dog signing off. And as always, until next time, goodbye.